and in 1811, an Italian with a splendidly operatic name of Lorenzo Romano Amadeo Carlo Avogadro, Count of Caracqua and Sarito, made a discovery that would prove highly significant in the long term, namely that two equal volumes of gases of any type, if kept at the same pressure and temperature, will contain identical numbers of molecules. Two things were notable about Avogadro's principle as it became known. First, it provided a basis for more accurately measuring the size and weight of atoms. Using Avogadro's mathematics, chemists were eventually able to work out, for instance, that a typical atom had a diameter of 0.0000008 centimeters, which is very little indeed. And second, almost no one knew about Avogadro's appealingly simple principle for almost 50 years. The principle led to the much later adoption of Avogadro's number, a basic unit of measure in chemistry, which was named for Avogadro long after his death. It is the number of molecules found in 2.016 grams of hydrogen gas, or an equal volume of any other gas. Its value is placed at 6.0221367 times 10 to the power of 23, which is an enormously large number. Chemistry students have long amused themselves by computing just how large a number it is, so I can report that it is equivalent to the number of popcorn kernels needed to cover the United States to a depth of nine miles, or cupfuls of water in the Pacific Ocean, or soft drink cans that would, evenly stacked, cover the Earth to a depth of 200 miles. An equivalent number of American pennies would be enough to make every person on Earth a dollar trillionaire. It is a big number. Thank you.